This is Mark Bagan. I'm going to tell you about the Windows Registry. There's a couple of ways you can start the registry. First way would be to click Start, and in the box that comes up, type Reg Edit R E G E D I T. When it appears, right click on it and say Run as Administrator. You'll have to enter your administrator password. And once you do that, the registry editor will launch. Now, the first thing I want you to notice. There's several hives in the registry. One is H key current user, next H key local machine, and then there's the H key current users. Now H key current user is actually a shortcut into one of these subdirectories here in the H key users for the user that's currently logged into the system. Now inside of a hive you have folder structures that represent values of keys in the registry. Each of these each of these keys can hold values that are used by the operating system and various programs for configuration settings. So a common key that is used by the operating system to store programs that are launched at startup is H key local machine software Microsoft Windows current version run. So if we go to this key we can see the programs that are set to launch at boot up and here you can see we got several programs in there now if I right click on the key and say permissions I can see which users and groups have the ability to read or edit these registry keys if I right click on a value I can modify the value of a registry key now this GUI is not the only way to edit, see the registry there's also the reg command that I can run from the command line reg slash question mark shows you the options reg query slash question mark shows you how to do a query but it's very simple if I just type hklm that'll query the H key local machine and then I can type subfolders there and give the list there and we can browse and step through the various keys that are on there so if I do this current version and then run after that, I can see the same thing that we saw through the GUI, and here's my startup programs. Okay, so that's two different ways we can view, edit, change the registry on a Windows 7 operating system.